This is an awesome party. We not only had a wonderful pig roast tonight by the How Things Work Grilling, but this is a How Things Work laser light show. And just wait till I get in the studio and show you how it actually works. So let's look at some more of the details of how it actually works and what's inside the box. A bunch of electronics. But the parts circled there in red are the really key, key things. Let me show you what they are. So the idea here is that we want to take an electrical signal and make it switch a mirror. But it has to be done really, really fast. It has to be done really, really accurately. So I look down on the top of this. We can put a couple permanent magnets here. All right. And you can actually connect these together with some types of pieces of iron. And you wrap a coil around these other legs. And that's sort of like a transformer. And this is going to be our signal wire. Now, this alone doesn't do anything. But if I make this on a little pivot point. So I'm now looking down at the top of this device. If I was looking at the side of this device, I'll have the uh, magnets here, right? And I'll have a shaft coming up, coming up right from this. So this is the side view, right? And these are, are these magnets here, right? And you got your wires. And then we're going to actually connect this to the ground, something that restores it, some type of, of, of uh, torsion piece. So it can twist a little bit, right? So that shaft comes down here. So here's what happens. If I put a signal into these wires, it changes this magnetic balance and it will rotate it this way or this way, depending which direction the current goes. And then it will snap right back in place because of this mount of the way it's held. You put a mirror up here and now with a very small current, you can change this balance and you can rotate the mirror. How it actually looks is something like this. And there's a lots of different styles of this galvometric, galvometer scanning device. So how does this make the beautiful, cool laser light shows? Well, it all has to do with what reflects off of this mirror. So looking at the mirrors a little more closely, the key is to put them in two orientations. I can draw one very clearly. Let's say that's my laser light coming in. And here is my mirror. Right? This is the top view. This mirror is uh, able to wiggle a little bit. And if I wiggle, that light will reflect here. If I wiggle the mirror a little bit different angle, it will reflect here. I've now been able to scan back and forth in this, uh, let's call it X direction. That's what one of the mirrors does. If I now do this so that these light beams would hit the second mirror, this is where a 3D picture helps a lot, but if I just tried to draw a planar view, let's say my next mirror was here in this other plane, and it rotated this way, that will allow me to, sh to now reflect this beam in the perpendicular direction, the Y direction. Here's another view of two of these scanners that are in the two different axes. If I have the control to move it this way and this way, by giving it the right signal, I can draw any pattern desired in the world. That gives you the pattern, but what gives you the color? The key is, is to combine lasers. So we can have one laser coming in this way. And we want to be able to tilt it towards the mirror or not tilt it towards the mirror. And of course, the lasers can be different colors. right? And what we do is you have a little mirror along the edge of this laser track. And this mirror can bend, or at least this part of the mirror could bend, 
So maybe only this part needs to be the mirror. And there's an actuator here. And this actuator can actually extend and push this mirrored portion of this little flipper up and hit it very fast. When it flips it up, this light beam now heads here towards the mirrors we just described. In a slightly different plane, you can do the same thing with your other color. And in this manner, as you actually actuate these, you can add the different colors to the same beam going to the same mirror. So there's another thing about these mirrors. They can be designed to let all of one color pass and not the others. Or, more specifically, designed to just reflect green. And other things can go right through it. And this allows you to get the beams to be exactly coincident together. So, if we can now control which colors come in, and somewhere else we can control the intensity of the laser, how much of that color comes in, if we mix those colors together, we can get an amazing palette of possibilities. Most laser systems use a red, a green, and a blue. And with these, by mixing them together, they can get a phenomenal array of different colors in the color palette. For instance, this is, I think, a beautiful case. You can see a dancer in there. We see some yellows, we see some purples, we see some pinks. The kind of smoky stuff you see in the background is exactly that, smoke. Because the laser itself is just a beam of light. And for you to see it, it has to reflect off of something else. That's easy when it finally hits a screen, right? When it hits the screen, you can actually see it because it's reflecting off of the screen. The screen was designed for that purpose. If you want a 3D appeal, a real 3D appeal, what you need to do is put some partially translucent material in the way of the laser beam. Fog is a great one, a little water vapor in the air, a little smoke from a fire, a little manufactured smoke from a smoke machine will allow you to have some of these beautiful patterns. You can also write letters. Remember, the laser is always on. And it's scanning, and these mirrors are moving very, very fast to direct the beam where you want it to go. You can also direct the beam to not go out the hole, right? You can effectively turn the beam off. Or even easier, perhaps, somewhere on its path, have another one of those little actuators that just interrupts the beam, sends it somewhere else, sends it not towards the X and Y mirrors. So if you do that, you can then write, you know, as we write God bless America here, and we want to write the G, we then can turn it off momentarily while the laser is scanning over to where you hit the O. And in this way, you can write words. Or even fancier, you can write figures. And since you can write the figures, if you do enough work ahead of time in programming where these mirrors are going to turn when, you can make the figures dance or otherwise move around. That's what you need to know about laser light shows. Enjoy.